overlook and flaming gorge from the Ashley National Forest. Forest fires took a heavy toll on the west this past summer. Utah got off easy by comparison. Fire observation towers used to be a front line of defense in the forests, but Alexis says in Utah they're almost gone. They are, Bruce. In fact, there's only one fire lookout tower left in Utah. It's the Ute Mountain Lookout Tower in the Ashley National Forest, not too far from here. How long has it been around? Well, this is its 50-year anniversary, built in 1937 by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps, part of Roosevelt's New Deal. They must have built a lot of them, though. Where are the rest? Well, they, were, they fell into disrepair. They were abandoned, basically, in the 1960s. Um, but here, in this case, the people around the Ute Mountain Lookout Tower decided that it was an important part of their history. They wanted it around, and they rallied together, restored it, and it's now a Utah storage site. What does the Forest Service do in lieu of an observation tower? Well, what they are doing instead, and what they did back in the 60s, is they started looking for forest fires by airplane. But, you know, when you've been to the Ute Mountain Lookout Tower, you realize that while airplanes may be more efficient, they're not nearly as romantic. <laughs> that worked on the lookout tower that doesn't have a love affair with them. Don Mathis has a passion for old lookout towers. The Ute Mountain Fire Tower seduced him two years ago. I love them. Why? What is the appeal here? Oh, <laughs> the solitude, the beauty of the country, the wonderful people that you meet that come up to visit. It's, uh, it's just a wonderful experience. The animals, the wildlife that come, the deer, the four-point bucks, the elk, and the moose. It's a beautiful experience. A California history teacher and a former smoke jumper, Mathis is the historic consultant for the restoration of the Ute Lookout Tower. That's John. This is your tower. Hey, Paul, this is Dutch John. Hey, Merle, have we had any uh, fires reported here today? For the past two summers, Mathis and his wife, Sarah Bath, have worked as volunteer fire lookouts. They live 50 feet off the ground in a single 14 by 14 foot room a room furnished nearly as it was 50 years ago. First thing to do, of course, is uh, get breakfast, then normally look for fires, scan the horizon, uh, check the weather. Oh, let's see, it looks like we might have a little smoke right over here. And uh, then uh, every once in a while during the day, watch for more fires. Don't spend all your time looking for fires, though, because then you start to see all kinds of things out there. Like what? If you, if you look too much, you start seeing things yes, that aren't there? that's right. Hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever found anything? Did you ever see any found fires up here? Oh, yes. We found a fire up here. Matter of fact, uh, there were some people in the forest that were a little surprised that Old Ute Mountain was back in service. And we came on the radio early one morning, found a little fire about uh, two miles away. Called the summit crew, uh, summit to Springs crew, and they went to work on it, put it out. Mathis is a fierce defender of Utah's last remaining fire tower. He says the Ute lookout is just as useful today as it was 50 years ago. They had a disastrous fire in this area two years ago. Went to almost 5,000 acres, which could have been prevented going to that size had they had someone on this tower. Uh, manning it, looking for the smoke. So I think it's a combination of both. Uh, being a historian, I think the historical aspect is important, but uh, airplanes uh, can't see it all. For Don and Sarah Beth Mathis, the love affair with the Ute Lookout Tower is over. After two summers here, they are leaving the tower under the care and protection of others who worked so hard to save it from destruction. It's part of our national culture. There were uh, 50 years there where this was the first line of defense in forest protection, the conservation program in the country. And it's an important aspect of our, of our nation's history. We need to preserve, you know, a few mementos of it. I hope people will leave it alone and not uh, treat it with respect. You know, she's a, she's a grand old lady and she needs to be treated with respect. Don't shoot bullets at it and throw rocks at it and loot it. Come and see it and appreciate it and enjoy it. Leave, a, leave with a good, positive feeling towards it. Let others come later on and have that same kind of an experience.
neat place. It is. Is it staffed all summer long? It will be, not with someone full-time like Don Mathis and his wife, but volunteers to stay one day and one night. And train people? They would like people to have some two-way radio experience, but they just would like people up there who, who love the place. It is more romantic than an airplane. It's wonderful. In fact, we talked to more people up there who said they spent their honeymoon at the old Ute Mountain Lookout Tower. Subject for a different story. And there are no curtains, remember. Okay. <laughs>